We need to talk. The fable words that no man ever wants to, to listen to, am I right? But, well, there are some things I need to get off my chest, and we haven't had one of these talks in a while, so... I figured... Might as well do it. Now, we aren't doing this in a vlog format, normally I do this in a vlog format, but I just... Ugh. Honestly, I'm just too fucking tired to do a vlog right now. I'm actually really too fucking tired to do this. But I still need to get some things on my chest and, well, explain some things that have been happening, some things that might happen in the future, and give you guys a little bit of my of insight into my life at the moment. So, without a doubt, by, well, first of all, noticing this video in the first place, you've probably noticed that my uploads have been very irregular over these past two months or so. And the key knight amongst you will probably notice that this coincides with the start of university again. Now, I was never much of a regular uploader, to be honest, when I started the channel for the first like year and a half, two years. I barely managed to, to put more than two videos a week out. Mostly because I just spent way too much time on each video, but that's a topic for later on. Uh, essentially, in the last summer vacation, I tried to uh, be more regular, especially since uh, since I started doing the Golden Eagle promotion as well, which kind of required me to do three videos a week. Now that I am not doing the promotion anymore, I don't really have the, well, obligation to do it anymore, and so I've kind of just been slacking, especially now with university work, university work going on. By the way, I've been suffering heavily from midterms. Finally, my last midterm is over. I finally have a little bit, a little bit more breathing space. But still. See, here's the thing with me. I... I want to do regular uploads. Like, trust me, if I could, I would want to do daily uploads. I mean... Consistency is one of the keys in growing a YouTube channel. Like, I've invested a lot of time into the whole figuring out how YouTube works and stuff like that. Uh, I might not have the numbers, but I have the knowledge. And consistency is key for the most part. And it's the one big thing that I'm really, really missing on my channel. The thing is, I just can't keep the, the consistency up, at least not with my current format. See, the problem with me and some other YouTubers I don't know as well, Probably you know other YouTubers that also have big problems when it comes to uploading videos consistently. I'm kind of a perfectionist. I like to put in a lot of effort into my videos. I like the editing process. I don't mind spending tens of hours on a single video. For example, the, the recent best example I can think of is the uh, 1.63 patch roundup. That video took me 40 to 50 hours to make. Yeah, a single video. Now, of course, it came out great. The video has over 20,000 views and people really liked it, but... When you have to put so much time into a single video, you don't really have time to... keep consistent, especially when you have other stuff to, wor to worry about, like real life, university, stuff like that. Now, with the midterms going on, I literally couldn't do anything. I I, c I didn't really have the time to play games, especially not War Thunder, and, well, I found myself not being able to do videos either. Because normally the style of video I do is not just to record whenever I'm playing. Normally I have to, to put myself on the mindset of actually recording what I'm playing, because normally I'm listening to music in the background, views and stuff like that, and it kind of ruins the recording. So my recording sessions tend to be dedicated, if that makes any sense, which doesn't make things easier. But... I found myself kind of getting out of touch with War Thunder. Now, I've been playing this game for over three years now, right? And it's pretty much the main content of my channel. In fact, it's the only content of my channel. I've done some Battlefield videos here and there. I think I've done a single CSGO video. But definitely War Thunder is the meat and potatoes of the channel, right? Which points which just poses a big problem when I find myself not playing all that much anymore. I don't exactly know what's happening. At the moment I 
just don't really feel the pull to launch the game anymore. And I still play it from time to time, I still enjoy playing Air RB. I find myself not playing Tank RB anymore, which you can probably see by the gameplay in the background. This is Tank AB. Yes, I know, I went back to arcade. I just couldn't stand the, the, the ATGM spam anymore. Due to... Uh, part of the reason is, in Tank RB you need to, to be very concentrated in what you're doing. And when I get home from university, I'm just so fucked up, I just cannot concentrate on anything anymore. So in Tank RB, I've kind of quit that. Having a lot of fun in Tank RB though, and Tank AB, but that's a topic for a... for another... another video. Now in Aircraft as well, and that's something that a lot of people have pointed out in the comment section. The gameplay of my last video on the FA2 was not all that great. And that's simply due to me not playing the game as religiously anymore. And I still have the basic skills, I still have the, the knowledge of course, I still know the game mechanics, I know how an aircraft is supposed to behave, I know how to evade, I suck at aiming but, well, that's partly due to me not playing out of much and partly due to me just playing many different aircraft with many different guns. But aircraft is... It's not quite like riding a bike. Warfinder is a game where if you want to stay competitive, if you want to stay good, you have to play regularly. And you kind of just forget how to play after a while. And this is especially a problem with aircraft. Tanks not so much. Tanks is a little bit more laid back, a little more chill. But with aircraft, if you do a single mistake, you're done. You're just dead. And... I make a lot of mistakes. Also, there are also just some aircraft that are much harder to fly than other aircraft, but let's not go too deep into the topic. Essentially, what I'm trying to say is I don't play the game enough anymore to be a an excellent an excellent player, if it makes any sense. And this is a problem for the type of channel I run. See, the thing is, um, I am not an energy... Uh, See, the thing is, I am not an entertainer. I'm a guide maker. I love teaching people. That's actually the, one of the original reasons why I started the YouTube channel. I wanted to gain experience and teach other people that experience that I've gained. And I think I've been pretty successful so far with that, especially the, the, range, finding, the range finding video has been helping a lot of people. But being a guide person, being a, a YouTube channel that primarily revolves about around reviews and guides brings a lot of problems. And of course, first of all, and this is going back to the point that I've made before, consistency is something that is very hard to achieve when you have little time in your day and you have to invest good time into each of your video. I mean, you cannot simply make guide out of nothing. You have to do research, you have to get good gameplay, you have to edit it well in order to keep it interesting. You have to make sure that you aren't just spewing complete bullshit, which is something that I've done before a lot. And it just makes things hard on you overall. Not only that, it also limits you severely in what your channel can do and what you can do as a consequence. I would, f I would say that I'm known as the War Thunder Guides person, right? Now, you don't know me as the, I don't know, Battlefield Guides person. When you think Battlefield Guides person, you're probably thinking about another channel. When you think CSGO guides person, you're thinking about the, another channel. However, when you say entertainer, there are many different channels. And this is kind of the problem and the disparity between what a guide channel is and what an entertainer channel is. You see, entertainers tend to have a much easier time doing videos, just covering different games. Because their audience isn't there for just that game or just, well, whatever, really. The audience tends to be more for the entertainment itself. For example, Jacksepticeye is a good example, one of the biggest YouTube channels out there. He isn't the greatest player around, right? He can, But he is entertaining to a point that he can play any game he wants. And people will watch it. I sadly don't have the luxury. And many, many other channels I know don't have that luxury. Guides persons, guides channels, 
don't have the luxury to simply be able to switch to other games. And many a channel has died trying to do that. When I can think of off the top of my head and... By the way, this is not trying to stop drama or anything, this is just an objective uh, point of view here. Uh, one, of the, one of the channels that comes to mind is, for example, uh, Antec. Antec, now he's a great guy. I, I actually have a huge amount of respect for him. He was one of the, he was one of the only people that ever responded to me when I first started off my, my YouTube channel, and kind of gave me the motivation to keep going, if that makes any sense. Um, now, probably a lot of you know him for some of the guys that he did in War Thunder. Those were very successful and still relevant today. But he has since completely quit War Thunder and moved on to cover a lot of different games. The problem is his channel didn't do so well as a result. Now he's still growing slowly, he's still uh, uploading videos daily, multiple videos daily. Honestly, I have no idea how the guy is able to upload so many videos. But he just doesn't get the audience anymore that he used to with War Thunder. And that's something that you see in a lot of channels. A lot of channels are just afraid to cover other games in fear of just killing the channel. Because it's it's so hard to grow a channel, but it's so easy to kill it. And this has been kind of what has been keeping me up at night uh, over the past couple of months. I've been very anxiously looking at the stats of my channel, looking at the growth, looking at the views per video, looking at the likes, like ratings, at the comments, and I'm just afraid. I'm really just afraid. It's it's hard to explain, really, if you're not a content creator yourself. This is this kind of segment, this whole segment here is probably going to appeal more to other content creators rather than the audience, which are you guys. But when you've, you've when you've invested so much time into you into your YouTube channel, into your work, into your lifeblood. And especially when you are like me and your dream is to keep this going. You lose a lot of sleep over it. You, you get nervous, you get anxious over if this is going to work out or not. Now, coming back to War Thunder and why I'm talking about other games, I didn't really explain it enough. See, I've been doing this for three years now. And... Walt's growth lately has been absolutely amazing. Well, I mean, we have beaten re records. I... I, just, I don't know, I... <laughs> See, this is going to sound very selfish. But I feel like I deserve more. For the amount of work I've... I've put into my stuff. And I can see why there isn't more. I don't upload consistently, that's one of the biggest issues with my channels, I just don't upload consistently. But there's another issue. War Thunder doesn't quite have the community. The, the War Thunder community is too small. And a lot of people have been feeling that the community has been getting smaller over time. It seems like the, the amount of players even playing the game has been reducing. And that's bad, it's horrible for me. And many other channels, I don't know. When you focus on a single game, you hold, the, the whole success of your channel depends on the success of that game. Which is my, why many people like me uh, try to... Uh, how do I put this? We try to avoid the negatives of the game. And, for example, suggest how to make things better, or how to player base get better with a game that isn't really easy to handle. But when, despite all your efforts, you still see the community dwindling and just the amount of shitstorms and negativity overall, even the most positive person, but like I was a couple of months ago, heck, I, I think last year this time around, I, I couldn't see a single flaw in War Thunder. I fucking loved the game, I uh, worked with some of the, of the people, I hosted the Thunder League. It was amazing. But I'm definitely see, starting to see the flaws now, especially now that I kind of took a break, a forced break, mind you. I'm starting to see flaws that don't make me want to play this game every day. And again, that's, that's a problem for my channel. But why is this a problem for the channel? Well, 
As I said before, I'm not an entertainer. Now, I know there's this percentage of you who who watch me for myself. You like my personality, maybe, you like my voice, you like what I do, you like my editing style, stuff like that. But then know that the big majority comes to this channel for the guides, for the gameplay. Okay, maybe not for the gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> but you come here for the uh, for the guides, and I kind of kind of I can kind of see it by the by the number disparison between people who watch my videos and people who watch my streams. When I'm when I when I'm on my streams, when I'm streaming, I'm I'm myself. I'm trying to entertain. I'm not trying to teach you guys how to play the game. I'm playing and having fun with it. But of course, it's only a minimal a minimal percentage of people who actually watch me that go to the streams. So, I cannot simply switch to other games, even if I wanted to. If, if at this moment I decided to say, Fuck Warfunder, I'm not going to cover this game anymore, I'm going to turn into a Battlefield 1 channel. Guess what? My channel would just die overnight. So, I'm now in this really awkward situation where I'm trying to decide what to do in the future, and how to handle things from now on, how to fix the major problems that I have met with my channel, mainly the consistency. I definitely want to do more videos more consistently. I'm aiming for around three, maybe four a week. I could do daily, but the problem there is it's a fine balance between quantity and quality. So far I've been all about quality pretty much. Of course some of you might argue, Feel free to. But I do take pride in my Blueprint series, for example. I put a lot of work into those. And if I want to do more videos, I just cannot afford to do as much work, to put as much work into each video. And as such, the quality will drop. On the other hand, I could try to slowly shift the thematic of my channel. I've touched on this before, but entertainers tend to have it much easier, right? So what I could try to do is slowly shift the focus of the channel from guides and reviews into more of a entertainer side. Do some live gameplays, maybe create a personality, I could do German accent, stuff like that. But at the same time I don't want to completely give up on guides. I don't want to just switch to thematic on my channel completely, because that will most likely then not also kill the channel. So I have to find this fine balancing act, I, find, I have to find the balancing point between... Somewhere in between, right? Somewhere in between an entertainer and a guide maker. So to recap this whole deranged rambling that I've been do doing over the past... What, 50 minutes, 90 minutes? I don't know how long this video is going to be after editing. Uh, but yeah, essentially... Uploads have been scarce. Real life has been hard. A couple of, of things that I don't want to talk about are too private, but uh, things are not looking good right now. And in order to make this work, I have to be more consistent with my uploads, right? Consistency equals growth. That sounds so cold-hearted, oh my god. But you get a point. At the same time, I don't have the same passion for the game anymore, which makes things harder, of course, for channel let's completely revolving around that single game, and especially since I am a guide make, uh, maker, I cannot simply switch to another game. That won't work, it just kills the channel, right? So, what can I really do? I think the best idea would probably be to find a balance, right? I'm still going to try and do the higher quality videos every now and then, but I will, for the sake of my sanity, do more regular but less effort videos in between, right? Stuff like just chill out post comes without much without much much effort into them. Less reviews, more talking about the game, for example, talk about how I play, the gameplay decisions that I make, stuff like that. Um, maybe some live commentaries in the style of what I do in my streams. But in a, in a video format, kind of added to, to keep it all entertaining, and stuff like that. On the other hand, I also want to expand into other games. 
One game, that, one game that I've been playing a lot lately is Battlefield 1. Since the release of that game, I've put... I think, actually, let me quickly check on Origin. Since the release of Battlefield 1, I've put 106 hours into the game. I'm currently level 67 or something, I think? Something around that. So, I've been putting a lot of, of time into uh, Battlefield 1, and I fucking love the game. And, of course, Battlefield 1 has a huge audience. But it absolutely terrifies me. Just thinking about trying to get into that community. And balance it out with what I have currently. And it's pretty much a guarantee that this is going to uh, to split the subscriber base. I can already foresee that most of you guys will not will not even try the Battle of the One stuff. Which makes me kind of sad, but I understand it. I you don't have to feel guilty about it. I completely understand. My channel has not been Battlefield. Although I've done a couple of Battlefield videos, but you can see by the number yourself. You can check my channel right now. Watch the latest Battlefield video that, that I did. Watch the views in comparison to, uh, to my last War Thunder video. You see the difference. So I'm going to try and slowly ease into it. Probably do maybe two War Thunder videos and one Battlefield video every week. I should probably start uh, doing more streams as well, if I find the time. Maybe instead of doing single long streams, do uh, multiple short streams. Streams that are on like an, like an hour, maybe maximum two hours long. And yeah, I'll have to find a way to, ho to balance this whole shit show that is my life right now. Oh god. Anyways guys, I think this is enough branding for today. Um, if you have any suggestions or any words for me, feel free to put them down in the comment section or below. I I do read every single comment, if, even if I might not respond to all of them. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the future. And hey, one year from now, either the channel will be a huge success or it will be dead. Yay. <laughs> okay, enough cynicism. Uh, guys, thank you very much for listening to uh, to my ramblings. I actually really feel better getting this off my chest now. I I just like keeping you guys informed and up to date with what I think and what I am and what the channel is. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. My name is Mike is Boom, and as always, thanks for watching. You can lift your head up to the sky, take a deeper breath and give you can walk the path among the lines With your shattered frame of mind There is that you could always stay We can wait right here and play Until somehow you can find